Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Muskoka Electrician. In today's video, I will be showing how to install a Lutron receptacle with a screwless plate in what it will soon be a custom family room for the family's entertainment. Here we are, and we will be installing a Lutron 15 amp damper-proof receptacle. This one is a gloss finish. And to go along with it, a wall plate with no visible screw, hence the name screwless plate, also in the gloss finish. Here we have our wires inside of our ICF box. We got plenty, which is great. We will proceed to use our hook knife to remove the Romex out of the conductors. That is plenty. We'll expose the conductors. Cut out the Romex and here we are. So we have two ground wires, two neutral wires and two power wires. First we will wrap one ground wire at the back of the box where the screw for grounding is. In this case, we'll use uh, this beauty. Wrap the screw clockwise. And make sure it's tight solid. Following, we will twist both wires together. Push this back to the box. I usually use this trick, fist and thumb, and that should give you around six to seven inches of the conductors just protruding outside of the box. We'll follow by unboxing the receptacle. Here we are. This receptacle is uh, quite nice to use because it has terminals where you can put your conductors in. Now we can strip our conductors. I usually do about three eighths to half an inch. And we'll do a small loop on the ground wire. So you can see there's a silver side and there's a gold side, brass, and the silver side is basically indicating for the neutral conductors, the gold side will be for your power. We'll swap out from a number two Robertson to a number one Robertson in our drill. Make sure our screws are loose. And we'll start with the ground wire. It is very convenient when you place your ground wire on the left side of the box because that's where the ground screw for the receptacle is located. 
following the ground wire we will be placing our neutral wires inside our silver plated screws on the neutral side of the receptacle and we'll give it a tug and we'll do the same with the next one we'll give it a tug solid and then we will do the power side right now One good trick that I can teach you, because it looks like there's a lot of wire, is to bend the wires in the shape of a long spring, and they will fold back straight towards the back of the box. And when you pull them out, as you can see, they will just pull out nice and easy. You won't create a rat's nest, and when you push them back in, same. Now we will put our receptacle in. What I like to do is just screw a little bit, and then make sure everything is straight. And do this before I tie it, so I don't crush this, the wires at the back of the box. If it goes smooth, then you know that your wires are not cramped up behind the receptacle. And then follow this process slowly. You can also take your level Make minor adjustments before you finish tidying up. And again, no rush, let's go slow. And there you go. Now the screwless plate does have screws, but when it's finished and installed, it looks like there isn't, which is a very uh, nice look for sure. First is the installation plate. And we'll use a Phillips screwdriver. Tie those slowly, like so. And then the finish, just place it and just push until it snaps into place. And there you go. A fully installed Lutron receptacle with a screwless plate. Thank you everyone. If you have any questions, please come below.